Hello, welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Today I'm back out on the pond. It's snowing. There's now three inches of ice, like three and a half inches of ice. Lots of ice now to be safe out here. Clear hard black ice. We had another good minus seven night. Snow is pumping down. Look at this, it's amazing. I'm gonna pop in four jack jaw jackers here and see if we can't uh, catch some trout. And maybe I'll do some jigging with a spoon and get some cool underwater shots just so you guys can see. And I'll be using uh, the atomic wax worms again from Backcountry Tackle because uh, they seem to work really good. And then uh, maybe I'll switch it up if uh, we catch a bunch, I'll try something else. Okay, stay tuned, uh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, I might fall too because it, man, this is slippery. I got my jigging jaw jacker with a tooth wheel. I have a little, uh, it's just a Shakespeare rod, 26 inch. I like to use at least 26. 26 is kind of short for the jaw jacker. 28 inch is better. And uh, for trout, I usually use a uh, medium light uh, action or medium rod. This is just a cheap, you know, Shakespeare combo. Shakespeare ugly stick reel and uh, Shakespeare rod. That's all you need to catch them. Nothing special. I have some nicer rigs, but that one is one of my older ones and it'll do. So I pinch off about a centimeter of night crawler and then I thread it onto the hook. Just like that. Make sure that the hook is nice and exposed when you're using the jaw jacker. Otherwise, when it goes off, they won't get hooked. Pull the knot so that the hook sits as horizontal as possible and then drop it down the hole. To the desired depth. I usually like about five feet here which is about a little over an arm span for me. And since the jaw jacker is a little high pull out a little bit more. The jigger is kind of high. You set it up just like the regular jig, uh, jaw jacker. Sometimes you have to increase the tension depending on the the size of the hook because the jigging motion will set it off. But this is such a light tungsten jig, you don't need to do that. And then um, just turn your uh, jigger on. There we go. And uh, a lot of guys ask me how come I'm not using the spring. If your rod is balanced, okay, you don't have to use the spring. It may help when the fish is actually on there to keep tension on, but I haven't noticed too much problems yet. And then I feel like without the spring, the motor doesn't have to work as hard to push it down. So I'm hoping they last longer without the spring too. Plus, you know, if it works, why change it? Some guys have been taping the spring on so it doesn't come off. That seems to work as well. Okay, let's get a few more of these in the water and see what happens. Man, it is absolutely dumping snow now. It's just coming down. Okay, so these other rods I'm using, the only one that's a Shakespeare is that first one I showed you. The rest of them are these uh, Fenwick Elite uh, Tech Ice rods. I really like these Fenwick rods. These are the older style. I think the new ones are green. And this is the medium action, 27 inch. I really like these rods. Uh, so if you wanna pair them up with the jaw jacker, they do work good. And uh, they have nice soft tip. And I haven't broken any in the jaw jacker yet. Nice cork handle shaped. I pair them with whatever reels I have, like micro type reels. There are rods uh, for jaw jackers as well. I have a bunch of them and I use them too. But right now they're not rigged up with the reels that I need for trout fishing. So they come in three different sizes uh, for trout and other pan fish. And then a medium sized one, maybe for walleye or bigger trout, and then a longer one, like 35, 36 inch rod for lake trout, pike. Oh, look, fish on, fish, fish. Oh, he came off, he came off right behind us on the jigging jaw jacker. Well, let's get that one set back up. I need bait, they got my bait. That'll be on the underwater camera. Sometimes these medium light rods don't get as good of a hook set as the medium rods. They're nice for fighting the fish once the fish is hooked up, but they can come off uh, with the medium rod. Hey, maybe if I had the spring on there, might have helped, who knows. For now, I got no spring. Okay, let's catch another one. Oh, 
Okay. This one's a better fish. We got him on here. Let's uh, pull him in. Pull this guy out. Oh, look at that. Fat rainbow trout. Oh, back in the hole. Come on out. Ah. Whoa, so slippery. Fat rainbow trout on that backcountry tackle, atomic wax worm, that's the number five. It's got green, orange, pink, and a worm. Goodbye. That was quick. They're liking the jigging jaw jacker today. Can't even get all my uh, jaw jackers set up. I just have three of them in. That one's already gone off twice. Time to get the fourth one in. Okay, I'm gonna go fish down here with this Markham and uh, jigging. Uh... No, we got one right here, right by the fish dock. Oh my, right here. We got one on right here. Look at this, fish on. Oh yeah, fish on right here. Oh yeah, beauty. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I was on the wiggle wheel on the jaw jacker. Oh man, it's three to nothing for the jigging jaw jackers today. This is what I'm talking about. Some days, these jigging jaw jackers are just gonna outperform everything else because they're bringing in the fish. Atomic wax room, piece of night crawler, fish on. Okay, let's let them go. There we go. You know, a lot of guys say, ah, these jaw jackers aren't fun. It's catching all the fish and doing everything for you. But you know, there's a lot going into it, setting it up, getting it put at the right depth, getting it set, tuned just right, the tension on the reel, tension on that trigger. And then once you've got everything right, it just works perfect. And uh, you can catch a lot of fish. And hey, who doesn't like running after tip-ups and catching fish? This is very similar to that, yet yeah, you get to reel in the fish. Okay, let's catch some more. Oh, we got one over here. We got one. We got one. That's a different atomic wax room. It's like a black tungsten with uh, different colors. I'll show you it once I release this guy. Let him go. Let him go. Oh no. My camera just went under the ice. Look at that. GoPro under the ice. Oh well, we'll get it back. I can just drill through there and push it back. So this is that uh, tungsten jig. Green, red, white. Black uh, back. Okay, I don't know if it's dangerous here. We'll jump right on shore if we, oh, it might be a little thin. We'll see. Jump. Go on shore here. It's not cracking. Okay, we're on shore. We're on shore. We got all of our draw jackers there. We'll have to run fast if we get one. Let's go see if we can cast out. Cast out into this open water here by the docks. I know some fish, they like to stay there's a like underwater hump out there and uh, quite often they'll sit right on that area. I catch them there good in the springtime. Let's see if I put this up here you'll have a good view of me when I go through the ice huh? Whoa, that's really thin. That is thin ice right there. I don't think anything's biting here. Oh, I got one. I got one. I'm hooked up. Oh, he came off. He came off. I was hooked up. Did you see that? Oh, man. I was hooked up. Man, if I bring my long rod here and cast it out there, that'll work good. Oh, come on. Get off that edge. 
There we go. Hey, that was a short cast, 36 inch rod, piss of unreal. And I hooked the trout out there on this, uh, on this spoon. That's crazy. Oh, I got one. I got it. I got one on the jaw jacker over there. Got one on the jaw jacker. Oh, stay on. You can see on that far one out there. Oh man, he's pulling hard. No, the secret is where is it safe to go on? Probably right here. Yeah, I'm walking across new ice. It's always crazy going across new ice. This stuff seems to be solid. Okay, he's on there. Oh well, great, now my, okay. Look at that, he's pulling. He's pulling some drag, that's why you always wanna set your drag good on these uh, so the fish can actually pull some line out. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, decent fight to these fish. Nice rainbows, huh? Come on. Okay, there we go. Another beautiful rainbow trout on that new tungsten jig. Hey, maybe you have another favorite atomic wax worm. That's that green, red, and white one. Look at that. Another beautiful jaw jacker rainbow trout. Let him go. Let him grow. Let him go. Let him grow. Like this. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, we got one there. We got one there. On the jigger. On the jigger. Hey, we hooked up. He finally hooked up and we got one on here. This is the one that kept losing the fish, but now it's got one. Okay, come on, Rainbow. Man, they sure pull hard. Just, oh, listen to that. Oh, I love it. Even though they're only around a couple pounds, they sure do fight good. Okay, come on up. Come on up. Oh, yeah. There we go. Beautiful rainbows. Like that. Okay, let's get them back. Goodbye, fishy. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh, they got one right here. Right here. Right here. Oh, did he get off? I think he got off. Shoot. Oh, no. is he still there? He's still there. He's still there. He is still there. I got my go fish cam. It's probably dead a long time ago. Dead a long time ago. Okay, come on up fish. Maybe this is the one that just bit my spoon over there and I got away. Oh yeah. There we go, another beauty. Another beauty. Okay, well that's it for the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Thanks for watching tonight. Uh, if you want to subscribe, hit that button over there. That'll give you a link to subscribe. Comment down below. I really enjoy the comments with ideas, the videos, and things you want me to try out here. And hit the like button if you like it. Share it with your friends. It really helps me out. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Go catch a big one.